These are the colors we'll be using for this design today. Welcome to Soto Creations where we make your imagination a reality. I'm going to walk you through how I put this backdrop together for a birthday party and we'll talk more about how exciting this new design is. You guys already know that every time I create these designs, I get so excited, but that's because each design is so unique and by the time I'm done creating it, it's exciting to edit because I already know how well they turn out and I love each one. So thank you so much for tuning in today to watch another video. If you've already subscribed, thank you for supporting this channel. If you haven't, please consider subscribing. We have videos every week on how we decorate for events and also do tutorials to show you how you can create some of these designs yourself so i'm starting with some tough text balloons i'm inflating my clusters big clusters by the big i mean i'm using 16 inches and 11 inch balloons and just intertwining them together for each cluster i have two of the 16 inch balloons so i'm just inflating them compressing so that you have that rounded effect and connecting intertwining six balloons all together to form a quad now i'm going to do this and have since we have four colors we're going to create two clusters in each color so i have the red i have blue by tuftex and I have this onyx black as well by Tuftex. My other color is a Simpertex balloon. So we are repeating this process. So we'll end up with eight large clusters of balloons. And that is what we're going to use for this design today. Now I'm rushing because we don't have much time to set up so i'm trying to prep everything as much as i can so that i can make it to the venue and get everything set up on time before the guests start i have just 30 minutes to set up this full decor so i'm hoping i can hurry up and be done in time so that we are not running behind now we are setting up today for daniel's birthday party i am so excited he's turning seven i just don't know where time is going and he initially wanted a super mario theme then he changed to different things and finally he settled on the spider-man thing and i said fine started working on getting everything together he just wants to go to one of these areas where you can play with your friends and so it made things easier for me kind of just to get everything done the only thing that is different is the fact that i still had to do the cake and we'll talk more about that shortly if you look at this 17 inch balloon i don't deflate it because this Simpertex balloon in this chrome blue is very stretchy and easy to work with so when once i compress it it forms on its own that rounded circle so i didn't have to do much with but of course i compressed the 11 inch balloon on its own now we are creating our filler balloons with the five inch balloons we're going to use this in all three colors so that sorry all four colors so that everything is well represented since we're creating blocks of color for each large cluster i'm making about two of these filler balloons i end up not using all of them but for now we're just prepping everything so that we are ready for the event ahead i'll also show you a couple of different things i do sometimes i create three clusters if i'm just mixing colors together a lot of times i'll just put three balloons together that represent three colors but since i have this large balloon i'm not being as picky with how the balloons are coming out and i'm making the 
cluster slightly bigger than I usually would for other backdrops that are not as big. And it's a little bit more forgiving because my larger clusters are pretty big. So working on inflating each one at a time, compressing as well. I am a bit picky even though it's an organic balloon garland. I like these five inches to look about the same and I've gotten pretty good at just eyeballing them and intertwining. There's a slight difference that's okay but we're going for a more even look for these clusters. I think they look a lot better on the backdrop once they're even because it stands out when some of them are not as even as you can see i still have a house full of kids and we are just having fun through this summer and enjoying ourselves so i figured one last party before the summer is over yes we we're supposed to celebrate his birthday months and months a couple of months ago and we just kept postponing everything but so glad we we're able to do this i am so thankful to daniel for this opportunity that i was able to create a spider-man balloon how fun is that if not for these kids some of these designs i probably would never have done so i'm very happy that he chose the spider-man theme i've learned so much about spider-man the last couple of weeks and all the different spider-man they are now i'm bringing in my balloon sizer so that i can show you how i create a column for the birthday because i have a number seven and instead of me using helium to create a balloon bunch of balloons i decided to create a column so that i can just put it next to the backdrop yes i'm also carrying my wood backdrops with me to this game center because we have a little space that we can use to have the guests sit and i figured we need something so that they can take pictures with daniel before they leave and yes i'm gonna carry my chiari backdrops with me so i'll take two of them so that i can set everything up have his name on the backdrop and he'll be able to take pictures with his friends as a memory so i'm inflating these five inch balloons in to four inches so with this you have to size it and you see why for these columns you want everything to be nice and even so that the the column looks even and it's not bending one side or the other and now we're going to inflate our 12 inch balloons we're going to inflate them to 8 inches so that we can make everything even. I'm, I'm making each color in four quad, like a quad. So each color will have four balloons represented. As you can see, we're on the chrome blue. I have two pairs that I'm twisting together. And once all is put to, all is connected then we're going to assemble our column and you'll see how easy this is put together so daniel is here telling me how he knows how to inflate these balloons and put them together and we're just discussing through now i have this number seven that is a foil balloon so we're going to use our hand pump here to get some of these foil pieces prepped for the backdrop again we're trying to save time because we only have 30 minutes to drag in those kiari backdrops set up these balloons set the table so that the guests can eat the plan is they'll eat before they go play and daniel will cut his cake before everyone goes to play games and will be done for the night so that is the plan these four balloons lately i've been having trouble with the four balloons and I honestly don't know what is going on with it. Some of them end up deflating on me before the venue even starts. But I'm discussing this backdrop with Daniel. And whoa, we lose our number seven. <laughs> I'm thinking, what am I going to do? Because I bought this specifically for his birthday. So I'm going to go see and luckily i found one more seven in stock that wasn't even part of the 
things I bought for this wedding and it's luckily red so we're going to inflate it slightly bigger than the other one and the part to inflate is towards the side so I'm being very careful here not to over inflate because if this one pops I don't have anything else to use and this time would be wasted so Daniel keeps telling me here yeah, mom I think it's okay that's okay don't add any more because he's also nervous about how the other one popped so there we have it I'm grabbing my weight right here tying the ribbon onto this weight now you can use ribbon you can use fishing line or you can use 260 cues to do this part i just chose ribbon because it came in one of the kits starting with the light blue we're wrapping our weight around the light blue in an eight figure eight pattern just to get it nice and secure i'm thinking of what order i want the balloons to go and now i'm alternating the eight inch with the four inches that we've inflated just to create that pattern and you want to make sure they're not they're not stacking on top of each other so you have that four inch balloon in between the eight inch balloons i don't know if that makes sense so you're not stacking them and our bigger balloons align once they're placed on top so that's the design we're going for just have a peek through of each of the balloons i have daniel standing here because i don't want the seven on there too tall where he stands and it's it, it looks awkward so i decide not to add that last piece that he's holding so we're just going to cut and tie secure that ribbon so nothing comes apart and we're going to work on securing that seven right there on the middle part so i'm tying my 260 q again this was a bit of an issue once i got to the venue because the 260 q section is to the side so i use ribbon to tie the little spot that is in the middle that has a hole i put my ribbon through that piece to be able to help me secure but unfortunately as we we're heading to the venue i had to tilt it a little and that came apart so you see me at some point in the video reattaching this seven back onto the column but with that weight on the bottom of this column your backdrop your column stays upright on its own we don't have to do anything with it and that's about it now i'm thinking what can i add i bought these balloons that have a spider-man on them it's blue the blue is slightly different i'm trying to see if it'll work and i like the contrast with all the colors so i'm adding this specific blue to the backdrop these balloons also come in white but i decide not to use the white for the design so i'm just tying my ribbon onto these so that i'll use it to attach it to this column that i created look at daniel tugging on that i didn't even notice him doing that but i'm turning it around so you can see what i'm doing wrap that all around and just tie that to each other on both sides to keep that nice in place so there we have on each side just to add to our seven column to make sure everybody knows that it is a spider-man theme i guess i could have also added some foil balloons but i thought this was simple easy way to add and you can kind of see the spider-man on that left corner of the screen those are the white that I'm not going to use because I'm not using white for this backdrop. So now I'm clipping away some of the extra string that you can see peeking through. And we're going to work on the rest. I did not like the Spider-Man that looked like baby Spider-Man. It just looks awkward to me. So I put that aside and I like this black foil balloon because with the black, I don't see anything that really ties in with the black onyx black that i added so i thought this would be a good touch of course transporting we lost one of the black ones but it was fine we used the last other one we had and it worked out just fine so we're inflating each piece keeping the excess that we don't need and 
just continuing that process so that we can get everything prepped and ready to go because i have a few more of these red single balloons with the spider-man i'm inflating them so that i can add them to the backdrop at the end just to give that extra theme pop for the backdrop so we keep on inflating we're going to attach our some of our five inch clusters to these with 260 half of a 260 cube balloon so that it's easy for us to attach it to the backdrop i'm just tying each single one and then we'll work on that part later on in the video now i ordered this specific piece i got at walmart because i figured i can use this to add somewhere in the backdrop the piece that i actually got for the backdrop i'll show you in a second ended up not working so i'm thankful that i bought this other piece at walmart that will enable me so i'm trying to compare what i think i ordered and what i got at walmart so this comes in pieces guys so i'm inflating it thinking once i inflate each piece i can put it all together but no, as you're inflating, it deflates because the parts that connect, and this will make sense in a little bit, the parts that connect, so you have a head, a torso, hands, and legs, so separate pieces. So one, two, four, six separate pieces. So I have figure I have to connect each one first, then try to inflate it. Watch my struggle as I try to get this Spider-Man put together. I just keep looking there are no instructions in the package for it so I'm trying to use my head to figure out exactly how it looks trying to sort out the pieces I know I have two arms two legs a torso and a head and Daniel is in the back trying to help me figure it out and I keep switching parts around and switching parts around this took time I didn't really have but I was happy because he loved the way it turned out once it was done so we're connecting I find out that the hand has to attach to the knee of the, the spider-man so I figured this piece out that's one side done and I'm repeating the same thing on the other side then I think oh I can go back to the picture of the backdrop that I bought and see what it looks like and see if that will will work so i'm already thinking i'm on track so i finish up hooking everything up and checking everything out and i decide okay we're all connected now we can inflate where everything inflates at once so i'm getting my hand pump working on getting it all together <laughs> and you can already see that my spider-man is in a weird yoga pose this is not the look that we want for spider-man and i'm thinking what did i do wrong are the are the arms are backwards well let's switch the arms over and i try to switch the arms over and guess what i pretty much do the exact same thing even though i got it on the other side so i'm inflating now and i realize okay now the arms are forward but my guy is still in another weird yoga pose and the back of his legs are facing backwards so now we're readjusting and i repeat the exact same thing <laughs> this is interesting so now we have to figure out how we can get this guy out of a yoga pose and actually look like spider-man so i disconnect again and i'm reconnecting the arms Daniel is also telling me what to do and how to get it all connected so it can be done right. We are struggling and looks like we finally figured it out. So there is Mr. Spider-Man and we're all done for now. Daniel told me he would decide where he wants to put that one. I said sure because luckily I have this one here that can actually fit on my backdrop. Thank God. So then... I'm inflating this bigger piece that you'll see me put on the backdrop and then we'll be able to pack up and head to the venue once we're all done with this piece. So Daniel is going to get ready. I'm just pumping up the last part 
then I'll load up the car and we will head out. Again, I'm trying not to over inflate these four balloons. With the orbs, a lot of times they tell you to pump it till all those lines straighten out. But these other four balloons, you cannot do that. They end up just popping. So that's our backdrop. Now I'm attaching all my 260 cues on all the four balloons. I'm cutting one in half so that I can attach it again trying to do everything I can to save time for when I get to the venue and hopefully all these balloons will fit the car well enough so I don't have to worry about inflating any balloons there on site which I didn't so we got everything prepped again I want to thank you guys for watching don't forget to click that subscribe button and like the video why not share as well so that we can get more people onto the channel watching the videos i truly appreciate your support let us pack up and connect some of these pieces before we go so i have the black and the blue then i'm connecting probably my chrome that way we're not repeating so we're gonna since we have eight clusters we're gonna do the pattern twice so that we can connect the two pieces when we get to the venue so that's one part and I'm going to repeat the same thing people always ask me how I'm connecting the balloons in these videos I'm just using the necks of the balloons pulling the stretchiest neck and connecting it them together double tying and that's how I connect my clusters together lately I've been working with these bigger clusters I think they're a lot of fun Okay, I'm done with all the balloons. We have our column. I don't know if you saw the column. Let me pause this and show you. Before that, all we have to do now is connect our letters for happy birthday. I'm going to go work on the backdrop and I'll meet you guys at the venue. Keep on watching to see how everything comes together with the tables and everything. So thank you for watching. We are at Celebration Station. They have these tables set up already. I'm moving it out of the way so you can see how I decorate this backdrop. I pulled in my two Chiari backdrops. I'm trying to set everything up. I forgot the weight, so Richard is going to bring that later on as he's heading here to the venue getting the balloons out sabi is putting the happy birthday together and taking some of the cricket web that i cut out she's pulling all the extra pieces off so i can put it on the backdrop I actually end up not using that piece she's taking apart i have my clamps that i get from walmart i'm going to put them on the backdrop and attach my 260Q on it with which I will use to attach the balloon garland on. So getting all that prepped while waiting for the weights to put behind the stand, especially that big one. It doesn't stand well on its own. The small one does okay. So I have my backdrop right there. Since that big one is falling easily, I just have a chair that I'm going to put on it for now just so I can get this set up. Guys, I have 30 minutes like I mentioned, so I'm rushing. I think I came right at the 30 minute mark, pressing to get this done. Sabi has this Spider-Man theme happy birthday that came with the pack, I, pack of decor items I ordered and she's putting that together. I was hoping to put this on the backdrop, but I ended up not using it because it would have looked too cumbersome. I just wanted his name on the backdrop. So I'm attaching my garland. Make sure you rearrange your balloons or you end up not having your balloons straight. Like you can see kind of the red is not showing as much but that's just how they fell but you can always rearrange your balloon garland however you want i want that dip in between the two kiari backdrops so that it covers that hole right there and that's what i did and twisted the balloons around so that i can have the bigger 17 inch chrome blue balloon cover that hole i don't know if you get what i'm saying where the two 
carry backdrops connect that there's that little dip because of the sizes i wanted that covered so i'm i had to twist the balloons around to get that well this is the full garland guys so if anything i could have inflated a couple more clusters to fill that spot on the right side where you see that top part but i remembered i had this big spider-man for a balloon that i inflated i'll just use that to fill that spot to extend it over across the backdrop so i'm taking that particular clip off and this four will fill in that spot to extend our garland so it worked out just fine it took a while to get this attached because it kept coming off again i'm just the foil balloons are just not loving me lately so they keep either coming off falling apart deflating one thing or another so that is what i'm working on here trying to get everything set up i thought i had it attached i have to pull off the 260q to reconnect it again and it just kept coming off but that's the position i want that for a balloon to be on so that it fills that spot once we're done we'll be able to move the tables back get everything set up my plan is daniel will sit at the end of the table there where facing everyone you can see the backdrop the lighting in here was not the best but it worked out just fine i'm putting my filler balloons the four that we connected four inch balloons that or five inch balloons that we created quads with to fill everything out getting the rest of the foil ones that are not deflated and just putting them in different areas to get it all connected sabi starting to put the tablecloth on the table here comes the rest of our village so we're connecting my mom and i baked that cake i swear some some of these events just get you going i tried to get a cake couldn't get anyone to bake a cake and decorate for spider-man i didn't want anything complicated got some toppers on amazon and you'll see a picture here shortly of the cake my mom and i put together and decorated so it turned out fine i just realized when you try to get the red the red coloring on your frosting it just gets bitter because you you need more and more and it just has that bitter taste at the end so everyone all hands on deck right now with trying to set everything up we're trying to get the plates the cups the balloons packed back the rest of the things we are not using packed all the plates the kids are running around <laughs> everyone wants to have fun and play and the part we need to get this party started that's our spider-man daniel found he's excited about that you i am on the right side putting that seven back on because it popped off as we were transporting everything daniel is helping everyone is trying to get things going in a little bit we'll have some of the guests there coming my mom decided to put the spider-man right there on the floor which was a perfect place because the kids were standing there playing with it while we we're taking some pictures so again i lost the middle part of the seven to connect so i'm trying to figure out another way to get that seven onto that column so that it'll stand on its own without tilting and looking like an arrow so i finally have it on putting my balloons back on have a few people coming already i have the daniel that i use my cricut to cut out and i'm pulling that off i already had the tape on there the transfer tape so now i'm just getting that placed could have done gone a bit lower but just rushing to get everything done and i wanted a good enough height so they can still stand and take pictures and it'll show so we are about done with this backdrop more guests coming in and i'll put a spider-man i thought this was a cool thought to have the web in the middle with the hole and then put the number seven right there as well i forgot my card or the the 
I'm using my credit card to use to transfer that over because I forgot the instrument I used to transfer my vinyl onto the backdrop. So I have my card there. I'm just using that to rub that on so that it stays in place and getting all that prepped. I didn't use all the balloons. You can see the back has a few more. We'll just pack that up. That's the web on the backdrop. Now I'm getting number seven to put on. My mom is going to put all the cups on the table. So it's all ready. We're trying to order the pizza and get everything ready. So once we're done setting up, the kids can sit and eat. He'll cut his cake and then we'll go play games and call it a night. Look at the seven. I'll show you a close up here as well so you can see. Please don't forget to subscribe. I have a lot more videos coming up and sh to show you some fun setups that we do. Don't forget to click the notification bell so you don't miss the video that videos that we post on this channel. Comment down below if you have any specific videos you would like us to see to to post on here and we would do our best to decorate for i have a list already of a few things that you guys have asked for that i'm working on so those will be coming up in the near future so we're getting everything packed and we're pretty much done i'll show you some pictures here in just a second of how everything turned out moving the table so we have kind of a nice run of tables with all the kids setting everything up realize one table has five plates we're trying to sort all that out and get everything set up right there so we are pretty much done and we're all set to start the party doesn't it look beautiful you would not imagine all our scramble it looks as though <laughs> we did it fast we did but not this fast but glad with how everything turned out the venue was really excited i don't think they've had anyone do this before they came and took pictures as well for themselves because they really liked the backdrop so here we are that's the final look so excited with how things turned out and this is what our cake looked like so happy with that as well <laughs> We did a great job with everything. Just glad it all came out. This was my last birthday for my kids for this year. And guess what? I forgot to pick up Daniel's cookies. So they ended up eating it the next day. Those are the beautiful cookies that I had made. I did not make them, but they turned out great. And that's the after party with the favors that they're enjoying. Thank you for watching. Have a blessed day.